What's up, high levelers and SaaSpreneurs. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can attach a SaaS mode subscription to an existing sub account right within high level. This is one of the really powerful features of the SaaS plan. It's gonna help you bring on more SaaS users, onboard more people into your SaaS accounts, and it's really exciting, so let me show you how it works. So if you're already using the SaaS plan, you know there are a ton of different features that are gonna help you onboard more people into your SaaS plans. But specifically today, I'm gonna to be talking about taking any one of your sub accounts that already exists from your agency view and then converting them into a SaaS account. Obviously from this view, you can look at any of your accounts, you can view reports, you can view any of the data on them and then switch to the sub account here. But what we're gonna be doing is selecting the three dots on the right hand side for the sub account that we're going to switch over to a SaaS plan. So we're going to search up the sub account that we want to be using. This is a regular sub account, not on SaaS. And then we're gonna click the three dots and click switch to SaaS. Now, when we get here, we have a couple of different options for getting them into SaaS mode. What this is going to do is give you this link where they can add in their credit card and get added to the SaaS subscription. This works great if they're not already in Stripe or if you don't already have their credit card details or maybe if they're just a free account right now. Now, this is a hyperlink straight to the sub account into the billing dashboard where they can add on a payment method. This is what the client would see on their end when you share this custom link with them. So they'll click that, they can add in their payment method and then be switched to SaaS. Our second option is similar. It's just going to request via email. You'll see whenever you click request via email, any of the users of that sub account right here. So this is the admin of that sub account. You can click them and then it's going to send out that email with the same link. So it's pretty similar. The third option is to do the exact same thing via text. You can put in their phone number. If the user has a phone number on the account, then you can select the user and then it will send them a text. And then our last option is I already have a customer. Now what this is for is if you already have a customer in Stripe. So what you can do with this is you can look up a specific user and then you'll be able to see them if they're already in Stripe. So for example, this user is in Stripe. When we select them, we'll be able to see their details and then you can click next to add them to the SaaS plan right from Stripe. So for example, here is our test customer. If we click next, then this is where we are going to be able to see that the account has now been converted to a SaaS account. Now that's what the flow will look like if you have a customer that doesn't have their payment details already. If you have them in Stripe, but maybe you haven't collected a credit card, then it'll just switch them to a SaaS mode, but it will not activate until there is a credit card associated with that account. Now, once the account has a billing method in the account, or if you select a customer that's already in Stripe that already has a valid payment method, then this is the screen that you're going to see next. So this is where you can select your subscription that you're actually adding them to for the SaaS plan. So if they are just a sub account right now, they have access to everything, no SaaS features, then this is where you can select which one of the plans you're gonna put them on, whether it is a monthly or an annual. These are the ones that you're going to configure within your SaaS configurator over here on the left-hand side. And what's going to happen is whenever you select one of these plans, for example, we select the middle plan, then it's going to add everything that is available within the SaaS configurator to this plan specifically. So if they already have access to all the other features, then it'll remove the features that they don't need access to, and it will add whatever features you have included within this plan. When you click confirm and proceed, it will add them as a SaaS client, and then you can view their subscriptions, their SaaS settings, just like they were a normal SaaS account from the start. Now, if you've set up your SaaS plans to include free trials, then whenever you add them to any of these subscriptions, it will immediately add them to the trial rather than charging them right away. But if you don't have a trial set up, then it'll immediately charge them for the monthly or the yearly that you have selected whenever you're converting them to a SaaS account. Also, if you want to just give them access to everything, but then you want to skip which subscription they're going to, maybe you want to keep it as a free account, maybe just for testing, then you can click skip for now. And then it will say the same thing, that account is converted to a SaaS account. And you can click okay, and you'll be good to go. Now, if you're not on the SaaS plan already, don't worry, this actually works great for accounts that haven't been on SaaS and already have a bunch of sub accounts because you can convert sub accounts that already exist into SaaS mode accounts by using this feature. But if you have been on the SaaS plan for a while, this is just gonna make adding more SaaS accounts even easier. If you're not using it, it's super great. There are lots of different ways to make agencies more money using the SaaS mode plan. So I highly recommend you get on the 497, especially if you're selling your own white label version that looks something like this. If you have any questions about converting regular accounts to SaaS mode, leave a comment. And as always, thank you so much for watching.